hi everyone hope you are doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is Saurabh Bharti Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional this is my youtube channel where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all so without further delay let's start the today's topic and today's topic is around the uh, expense management and this is the one of the feature which I have recently used in my one of the project so I thought to share with you all as well so this is around the uh, cash advance with the expense report so how you can uh, apply the cash advance which an employee has requested and for a business travel and once that uh, employee comes back and create the expense report for the reimbursement how do you map that a cash a cash advance how do you adjust that cash advance is is going to uh, is, is what we are going to look in today's video so <coughs> let's move uh, to the next slide and uh, let's understand with one of the use case so let's understand that USSI is the consulting firm uh, the employees traveling for the project work and uh, requested a cash of uh, let's say 5000 USD now comes back from the trip and spent uh, let's say overall 4500 USD now employee creates an expense report for 4500 USD which he has uh, spent and uh, to settle against the cash advance because now company doesn't owe anything back to the employee it can be a knockoff against the cash advance which has been paid earlier and now also the employee should return the 500 back to the company because it is the unused uh, cash let's take an example uh, other scenario I have taken this scenario but uh, one more scenario which is uh, possible is that maybe employee would have spent let's say 5600 or 700 so the whole cash advance would have been knocked off against that and then maybe the company has to pay against that the additional amount to the employee maybe employee would have spent out of pocket so both are possible i have taken let's say a return case that how it is going to work now there is a process to it uh, uh, we will be talking about that but uh, there are some configurations which we need to do it uh, so one of the configuration which we need to uh, do is the in the feature management there are two features which we need to enable one is the enable the expense report reimagined feature which is the new workspace for the expense management and also there is a feature uh, which is apply cash advance to the expense report these both features should be enabled in your feature management list apart from that uh, there are some basic uh, features which you need uh, configuration which you need to do like you need to have some cash advance accounts specified from where you will be paying the cash uh, you need to have a payment method where the employee is set up as a owner and then also you need to have the vendor map to your employee because when you are paying to your employee for the payment journal uh, the vendor account is required these are some basic configurations which are required and I'm assuming as of now I'm at this video is uh, talking about a specific uh, uh, feature but I'm assuming that you are aware about the cash advance and expense report uh, process uh, or the expense management process in detail before we get into the system I think let's understand the basic expected accounting entries also so there are two parts of this process one is to understand that how this process is going to work but also we need to understand what accounting entries this uh, uh, the system is going to create and how it is going to work so if you look at there are two stages which will happen uh, in the system one is the cash advance where employee will be debited why 5000 uh, will be receiving the cash and and in the cash account or the whatever the source you have is going to be credited uh, once the employee comes back and uh, create the expense report uh, your travel expense let's say it is uh, the employee is knocking off will be debited so your PNL uh, will be the expense will be recognized here 
your cash will be posted as a credit to this uh, account which is like against the employee which has been uh, which has received this because company is not going to pay now but also it is going to be received by the company 500 back from the employee uh, uh, cash account so that is also going to happen so now let's get into dynamics uh, and uh, see that how this whole process uh, is going to work so this is my dynamics screen and i'm going to go to the feature management first and uh, let's talk about those uh, different features which we need to have it enabled so let's talk about some configurations first and then we will talk about the process so if i click on the all features here and i can just uh, put let's say expense so you need to have this expense report reimagined enabled and also you i'm just looking for the cash advance uh, uh, uh the feature which is yeah so this one is the other feature which we need to have it enabled okay once that is done and the next thing which you need to do is that uh, you go to your uh, the expense management module so if i click on this expense management uh, you need to have your cash advance uh, accounts where your cash will be posted so let's say i am doing for usd so i have set up for usd the petty cash account it can be the bank also you can have an account type as ledger or bank here so that is one configuration then also i need to have my uh, payment method uh, specified which i have created a new the important thing note to here is that the the expense owner is the employee here when we want to knock off against the cash advance when the expense report is being created so i have set up this and then the rest of the basic configurations which are there now let's do one thing let's start with the process of uh, creating the cash advance so uh, i can go and uh, create a cash advance request here so i will just say that create a new cash advance uh, today's date um, i might select some location and the things which i might have i can select the purpose uh, of the visit so yeah so i can select conference uh, need cash for conference any note if you want to put it let's say i will put it 5000 usd and if you have financial dimensions you can just uh, specify your financial dimensions also here now once you save this uh, the workflow will be enabled the status is draft so you will click on submit and then you will submit to the workflow and it will go for a approval so i have submitted this so i can just look at uh, the workflow history where it is so let me just move it for the approval to assign it to myself so i have assigned the workflow to myself so i can go into expense management process cash advance I can look for the cash advance which are pending for my review so I can just uh, select this and I can just uh, approve this so if I want I can also return this but I will approve this now so I have uh, approved this it will take some time so it has gone from here now once it is approved I can look at the uh, approved uh, cash advance here in the list so it has not come yet but let's wait for that to be coming here so it has been approved uh, now if you see the the amount is appearing here i can look uh, for the status and the balance is this now as a next step what we need to do now it has been approved we need to uh, pay this amount to the employee now for paying and transferring this we can click on the pay and transfer there uh, will be a payment uh, there will be a journal journal created for this which will be used for this accounting entry and i will use this as a date and then i can just click on okay to just create a journal journal and it will uh, post it 
so the journal has been uh, posted here uh, we can go to journal ledger and we can also uh, look at this uh, accounting entry so i can go to journal ledger and uh, go to journal journal accounting entry and i can look for the posted and uh, i can just sort by the latest uh, this is the cash advance you can look at this uh, for this you can go to the lines and look at the voucher accounting entry so it should be your the expense the petty cash which you mapped on your cash advance account is uh, uh, debited here and the employee uh, getting credit for this okay so th that is the accounting entry which we got created here so now let's uh, uh, look for the next process which can be like let's say the employee we have paid employee let's uh, uh, and then let's say employee has traveled and then come back and wants to create a expense report and also wants to map the cash advance against it so how it is going to work so for that what we will do is we will go to the expense management and we will use the expense management new works now we can create an expense report here so let's say i can say that our travel expense i here now this workspace gives you like you want to all the categories by default to have a fast to have a faster creation of expense report but i won't add anything i will just select the location and then i'll click okay now i have got the expense report created i will add a new expense here so i can select expense uh, the expense can be let's say i have i can select a travel expense here something so i can select let's say a flight possibly and then i can add the amount let's say 4500 and the important thing here is that if i am going to knock off this uh, expense against my advance i need to map the payment method as cash advance so once i do that so once i save that one of the thing which you will notice here now is that uh, it is uh, my all the cash advance let's say if i had multiple cash uh, to to uh, against my employees since i'm creating the expense report as of now then all those will be start appearing here <clears throat> and here i have an option uh, this 4500 i want to map against cash advance and right now there was two cash advance if you can look at the, look at this drop down and system is has picked up the 5001 because that is uh, going to uh, the amount is matching with that so it is picking up that cash advance and this is how you map your uh, you, this is how you map your cash advance with your expense report so now i can click on save and uh, continue on this and then i can add one uh, category one more expense now so this is i avail 5000 now i have uh, i have 500 left so how do i return also okay so for that what you can do is that you have a cat uh, you can create a category called return cash advance and then you can map the, uh, how much you want uh, return so i will put the ust here and then the payment method that how you want that to be uh, 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 paid back right so that you can click here so i can click on save so that that will that will add to my my expense report now i can just submit this expense report here so i can click on submit so i have uh, submitted my uh, travel expense now i can get this approved uh, through the workflow and uh, then we can look at that how it is going to appear in the accounting so let me just quickly uh, approve this and show you so i have this uh, approved uh, expense report with me uh, i can just simply post it and this has been posted now now since everything has been posted now let's look at the voucher accounting entry so i can click on the voucher entries 
and I can put the created date and uh, time for today and then let's look at all the voucher entries which have been posted and let's try to understand them okay so the first one the uh, the the uh, the accounting entry which was there where the cash was debited by 5000 which we were paying and the employee was credited with the 5000 right so now i have the petty cash which is having the balance of 5000 which needs to be knocked off now i could have made uh, an accounting entry to uh, take that cash out from the bank by debiting my supplier and crediting my bank the next process but now let's understand now i have a 5000 cash which i have give, issued now this cash has to be settled against any expense which has been incurred by the employee and also or it has to be returned now this is my expense report accounting entries now if you see my 4500 has been debited to the expense which i selected on the expense report and this has been knocked off against the petty cash which i have issued so which means now debit here 5000 credit 4500 still i have a 500 debit balance here now that has to be either returned now for that what it has done if you see the we have entered a cash return uh, a line on the expense report so which has credited the same petty cash account so 4500 credit in 5 this has been knocked off and this credit uh, uh, has gone back to my bank account as a uh, debit so for example if i would have posted an accounting entry here by debiting uh, my uh, my debiting my uh, employee uh, and crediting my bank by 5000 so credit 5000 and debit this bank account of let's uh, uh, 500 so i net net cash withdrawal from my bank account is 4000 4500 which is equivalent to the expense which i have incurred here so uh, the features helps you to streamline or uh, manage your cash advance process along with the expense report and you understand that how you can map the uh, expense reports and the cash advance with each other how the accounting entries are getting posted and and you can use in your project that's it for this video and see you in the next one. Thank you.